Oh, to battle. The real battle begins now. Well, that's fine. Hello, shoot. <laughs> All right, uh, this got hectic. Let's have him wait. Let's have her... Let's have her now. Let's also have her no. Okay. These two. He dies so that you can live. Have some horror. Freshly baked. Ready for you. What's his stance? Works? Okay. Um... Yeah, it's Panic Blast that's the really useful one. I guess I'm just going to use that to get rid of the wards if I can. Okay, it's him again. Still don't quite have enough Wrath. I'll get more. Uh, uh, they've got some wards. So that insanity is working in my favor pretty well. Uh, do we just keep doing no? It works great. The nice part is... We can just heal my guys. Okay, Mummy does not have a debuff. So let's do... Impending Misery. Your frail bodies fail you. Okay, they're quite insane now. Let's see, don't want to do the, the magic attack. We might want to heal at some point. Oh, she can't do no? Move left, Strength please. Through pain. Everyone gets screamed. Let's see, we do have Soprano. Might not actually be a bad idea. Nerf him a bit. They've already, they've already got the insanity. Uh, I'll have her do that. Okay, do we? Oh, we have Wrath. Panic Blast! Hex Beam! Okay. Blood Curse. Let's have him do Terrifying Evolution. Yeah, we're gonna have... We're gonna have this guy vamp if I can... Get him to... If I can get him to bail. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, please do just just run away. Give me another vampire. Because I can use them for stuff. I don't even know if I need spare vampires, but having a handful of them seems like a good idea. Well, this is a fun, fun team to roll with. So what can vampires do? Would be the first question. So vampires have physical attack, physical attack. Uh, let's see. Gains 30 wrath. Vampire loses health. Target loses 30% of its vigor. Boss is 15. Vampire loses health. Huh. None of these seem to make the vampire heal. Oh, here we go. Until the end of battle, the vampire recovers vigor equal to the damage it inflicts. So, doesn't spend an action, doesn't stack. And crits do more damage. Hmm. That's pretty good. 
Let's see, you need three vampires to unlock a character, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I believe you need three vampires to get a vampire. So getting them a lot of luck... Like, going hard on crits wouldn't be a bad idea on vampires. Unfortunately, they require blood, hearts, and flesh. So I'll probably only want to have one of them. Still, that's not bad. Good frontliners. Uh, let's see. If I take a look at talents. Magic. We're looking at that. Is there a way to cut up one of my dudes and turn them into spare parts? Actually, no. We do have that. That is a thing. Oh, these are pretty good. Not useful for what I'm doing yet. We want to go scalpel artist. The more parts I can get, the better. Uh, let's see. So first and foremost, she leveled up. Let's see. Honestly, probably just gonna... Probably just gonna buff her health. 100 HP makes a huge difference. And what about this guy? Sten's debuffs. Additional damage, additional damage if the mummy has, has a debuff. Interesting. I like the idea of ex extending debuffs. Let's see. Four turns or two turns? I can stack these. Probably can. We probably just want to do... Dire curse more than anything else. Maybe? No. No, let's let's raise his his spook stat. Uh next up, I guess let's alchemy for a bit. We want to start getting purple parts. No now that we have just an infinite-ish supply of vampires to work with, uh, and like fill out a lot of my um Behold my work. Uh fill out a lot of my slots with in the uh in the graveyard. It's probably best that I nope. Can't do any more of that. We got a lot of parts, and we will probably get a lot more. Uh, let's see. But yeah, vampires can do all the work in the graveyard, which feels a little bit disrespectful. You know, vampires are usually considered fairly high up undead, and I'm just using them as absolute grunt labor. But that's fine. I will take free grunt labor. And then honestly, I might even switch up my death knight. Uh, I might switch my Death Knight for one of the vampires. And I'm thinking about it. Let's do that. I've got a... I've definitely got a level 5 brain sitting around. Yep, there we go. Alright. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Death Knight. But this seems like a good idea. So, we want luck. I'd like to give extra survivability, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this one. Let's see. Debuff all attacks against the target. Ignore block and ward. Ignore block and ward. Mm -hmm. I can live without that one necessarily. Vampire loses more vigor. Huh. So berserk or rage? I think I'd rather do rage. I'm not even sure if I want that one. Let's grab mesmerize. Physical attack, or hit two. Probably just grab Returning Strike. Uh, though, honestly, considering Serve how flimsy... Well, my considering how flimsy my vampires are, might be a better idea. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good heart on my vampire. Let's see, Vigor and Evasion... An armor. It's not a bad idea. We might just end up with a fairly beefy 
vampire here. Uh, let's see. Block, attack, vigor. Oh, we do have another piece of meat. Hmm. It's okay. Evasion, attack, and vigor. Probably good on him. Weapon. Ward, armor, and resistance. It's good for a frontliner. Be great on... Oh. Actually, it'd be great on this guy. Because this is the uh, this is the trench loading zombie. Let's see. We still need blood. We need fabric. For... What is this fabric? Extra vigor and dread. Uh, let's see. Who's got the higher dread? Equal amounts. Lower amounts of anything? No. So the real difference is I went with Absorb Terror on her and Crescendo on her. So they're virtually identical. Uh, she's slightly higher level, so we'll give it give it to her. What's this? Block, Attack, and Vigor. So not good for either of those. Evasion, Dread, and Ward. And then Accuracy, Evasion, and Resistance. Good bones. Don't know who I'd give that to. That's not a bad idea to put on, on my frontliner. My frontline mummy. The bonus attack seems kind of unnecessary. Better to put that on a skeleton, maybe. Uh, let's see. Oh, can you actually name me, name your undead? I can. You guys want to chuck some um. You guys want to chuck some names at me, and we can we can name some of my gooners, because I don't see why not, honestly. Okay, give me a second. Uh I'm just going to name random people things. Uh Bones. We should probably go rescue Mr. Bones if we're going to be naming somebody Mr. Bones. Oh. Well, I guess I guess we'll name the lich Mr. Bones. Remember to level them up? Actually, I think they can just stack extra levels, so maybe it doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's see. Well, let's... do we take him out of there? No, we should leave him in. Surprised he didn't heal. Oh, I'll just leave him in there for the time being. Okay, who hasn't been named? Okay, so we need a little bit more. Okay, so we got Trogdor, Ostrich. We need a vampire. Okay. Wait. Oh, should call that one. So, we need one for the Bride. And one for the Dark Knight. I guess the Dark Knight can be Kool-Aid Man. And... <laughs> bride of Aratus is apparently Big Mama. Alright, done. We've got some names up in here. Let's go mess these guys up. Do we want to roll Fear Squad again? Let's roll Fear Squad again. I'm actually rather enjoying them. They worked pretty well. Alright. So, might want to start with Battle Eternal. Blood and vigor. Okay. Next up, uh, let's see.
He can't do too much, so I'll just have him buff himself. I'm going to have him wait. She is going to... Oh. No, that's fine. She is also going to know. Get ready for some screams. Okay, so we want to move... We want to move these two. They get Shriek to Oblivion. Alright. Just gonna keep having my Banshees go in full no mode here. So we are Legion. Um, one of these just randomly moves a dude, right? Or no. It's purely Panic Blast that, that does that. Alright. I guess we'll just get a lot of them. I guess she can just move them. Maybe. Uh, actually, let's do a crescendo. <laughs> Your cries are music to me. Oh, I guess that didn't actually move them back. I should have done that. Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, did one just immediately die, or did one just immediately bail? I am unsure, actually. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's absorb fear off of him. Soprano. Might as well make them crappier. At this point, they're going to just start, uh... I actually have no idea what they're going to do. Let's see. Oh, that's a magic attack. I'm going to do that. Unfortunately... Oh, no, that doesn't count for ward. Ha! Ah, easy peasy. Uh, let's see. Absorb fear. Absorb fear! Yeah, I might as well just get my, uh... Might as well just get my mana back whenever I can. See, so what is their luck currently? Oh. Damn! That was just insta heart attack. Lady got gibbed! Yeah, so none of them actually managed to run away. Oh well. We got a brain, though. Go to the graveyard. Let's pull him out. Chuck them in. That's pretty sure that ain't a vampire. Can any of these be upgraded with a spare vampire? Now that I'm thinking about it. There's the abode of... Ooh. We might want to go make one of those. I'm gonna grab that. Might as well get rid of one of those. Oh, uh, let's see. So another... An a lich would actually do that, but let's let's grab the abode of wrath. The sooner I get that, the better. Uh, let's see. So creation. Can I make a death knight without using up some of my good good stuff? The answer is yes. No. I almost used up a blue weapon. That would have been embarrassing. So for the time being, let's grab scalpel artist. Then maybe brains. I don't really know. But yeah, panic squad is uh is scary. I love them. Choose a battle squad. Can't fear. Like, the fight squad does some serious damage, but their synergies are not quite as good as this group. This group is just like, man, you like heart attacks? Because boy, we got them. Do, do we have any cardiologists? Because, oh boy. Let's see. I guess I might as well do Terrifying Evolution. We've already got a no, so... Oh! Okay. Golem is scary. I can still hurt Golem. But this is good to know. Okay, 
is going to be awkward. Uh, we, we can hurt it. Can't do a whole lot of damage to it, though. Okay, impending misery. So that guy in the back is actually a bit of an issue. Keep doing crescendo. Oof. Ow. Okay. She's got 42. That's not great. Their sanity is all kind of low. The sooner I get rid of some of them, the better. X-Beam. Mummy does not have a debuff. But that gets rid of one of them. Okay. I'm gonna vamp that sucker. Do panic blast. I got a I got a cold grasp. Okay. Didn't really do what I wanted it to. Okay. Doesn't do as much damage as I thought, which is good. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to oh, the, the dude to, uh, that was going to run didn't run. Oh, well. <sighs> Let's see. Agile Grasp. I guess I'll do that one. Uh, just gonna keep absorbing fear off of that guy. We gotta get that heal. I'm gonna pop it now. I know that heals the golem up, but I don't have much of a choice. I mean, I do. Kill the golem. Uh. Yeah, anything else? No, nothing else actually, like, hurts the thing. <laughs> so let's just spook that guy. Yeah, luckily this thing doesn't actually seem to be particularly good at hurting me. Debuff him. Okay. Let's just try and hard attack that guy. This is my kind there we go. Of entertainment. Okay, this is going to take some time. I don't have too much. I guess we can move. We can move him back one. Strength through pain. So he can do agile grasp. Uh, chilling, <laughs> chilling whale. Didn't help too much. We have howl, but it barely does any damage. So yeah, we can do damage. It ain't much, but we can do damage. And this thing itself is not actually very strong. Which is a nice plus. Okay. There we go. 
Ah, head ward. Shoot. Yeah, I guess hell does make them skip their turn. Okay. Okay. Can we mummy it? Damn it. There we go. A, a bit of a hiccup, but not a big one. Uh, not a particularly big one when it came down to it. So we're good. Okay. Two. Or. No, no, no. Creation. Do we have regular weapon? We do. Let's make a really cheap. Death Knight. Okay, here we go. Ooh, humans become much sturdier. That was a skeleton. God damn it. I thought I clicked on Death Knight. Alright, I got spares. Okay, Boat of Wrath. Most warriors pay homage to the bloodthirsty gods of old, whether they know it or not. I can't do the rest. Well, that spare skeleton has a use. Anyway, let's level up. Let's level up Trogdor. What do we level up Trogdor with? Extra evasion. Three rounds. Extra evasion. It's pretty good. This is crit chance. Pretty bad. Considering this guy's a frontliner of a sort. I think I'm going to give him far grasp. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. Okay. So these are all consumable. Where are we at? Enemy killed in battle. Erratus gains... Ooh. In 10 EXP. Yeah, that's that's better. Don't really care too much of a block. Make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Uh, let's see. It's really the lancet that's the useful one. And yeah, let's grab the book. I'm a prepared necromancer. Yes, I am. Dormant minions. Uh, it's, let's keep sending fear squatted things. Okay, choose a minion to raise. Do I get... <laughs> I don't really have any immediately or amazingly... I guess let's grab and spare one of those. It's not very good. And nothing from that group really spoke to me. This group, though. Ow. Uh, no! But you... So they had ward, but that's okay. Crescendo? They always crescendo just to debuff their, their damage. I like no to like muck him up, but seems to be doing doing the trick. Y'all get insanity. And wow, yeah, we just start with an immediate panic blast. Keep crescendoing. This will be your end. We have absolutely just demolished th their morale immediately. Oh, well, that works great for me. Guess it didn't actually work the way I wanted it to. Well, at this point, moves to a random position. Get spooked. Soon Shoot your, your friends. Existence. Uh, let's see. Boop. I guess I'll absorb fear off of this guy. Give me some mana. They're actually dangerous still. Like, he's still a danger to me. Not that big, not that big of one. Uh, let's just keep cursing them. 
I've got I've got enough mana at this point. How many ghostly infernos? Yeah, so I I can just like stack those on him. Beautiful. We get spooked, son. Mop up the gore. I'd hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. Dude is just grumpo. Oh, talents. So I, I did get scalpel artist. We could get gray matter for more brains. Uh, let's grab relic seeker. Let's see. Yeah, what do we want to start doing after this? Rates gain a benefit. East would be nice. Minions' alt ability has cost less. That's actually pretty good. These are good. Start of its turn, minion gains extra initiative if we have a high wrath. Ooh, start of its turn, a minion restores 8 vigor if we have at least 75 wrath. That's pretty dang good. Because ideally, I'm looking for the ones that have more permanent bonuses. So yeah, let's let's grab this and start heading down towards Frenzied Howling and Relentless Evil. Of course, 90% certain it's going to take us a while to level up. No, actually it ain't. Cool. All right. To the dungeon. Well, uh, oh, right. Every time I, like, go out of this, it resets. All your minions go to full vigor. Well, I'm near max mana, so we might as well do that. Elite squad does not have any golems. So, let's try... Let's try the re-squad against these guys. Could be spooky! Okay, let's have her go back. Crescendo. They're already insane. That's a good sign. Okay, we want to do impending misery. Get out of here. Alright, they're both insane already. Keep bopping Crescendo. Because, yeah, if they do less damage to me, all the better. No, she, she's still a no, right? Yeah. Get screeched. Let's see. Do we put her back in now? Uh, yeah, I'll put her back in now. Owie. We have Amplify Curses, Stonefall, bit of a concern, grab that. Okay, so we're probably going to want to do Battle Eternal. They're hurting me. I could wait, but I don't need to. And we'll probably want to restore sanity on one of these two. Or absorb fear. Might as well do it to both. Okay, so we pretty much almost have an immediate full heal. Which is great! That gives me some nice wrath. Panic blot? Ooh. Somebody's escaping. Crimson hunger. Let's fix that. Uh, let's see. My kingdom comes. 
Remove debuffs. Just keep spooking. I think he's gonna leave. Yep, there he goes. Gets me another vampire. All right. And impending misery? Yeah. Move him back up. This is such a solid team. As long as we don't run into a golem, we're pretty much indomitable. There we go. Oh, you know, if this keeps up, I'll be done. So that gets me a whole bunch of EXP. A fairly decent amount of parts. What is this? Orb of Vulnerability. Dunno. Uh, another vampire, which I think unlocks just making vampires. Let's see. So if we do creation, yep. We have unlocked vampire. So headhunter, defeat two bosses. Use Wrath on ultimate abilities, trigger insanity on a bunch of enemies, not much left. Uh, lure Dampiers to your side, haven't done that yet. Gather Bones, debuff enemies 250 times, we're getting close on that one. Ghoul's gonna be hard to get. And then, I gotta play this on more pain, but I'm a lazy boy. Might take a while before that, Run runs into a golem next. I As long as it's not a full crew of golems, we're okay. We're getting a lot of parts, too. Hopefully I can uh, fully upgrade Fear Squad soon. Uh, You're right, vampires do have a lot of abilities that cost your own health. I guess that would be a very easy way of doing it. Man, I'm getting a lot of parts now. This feels really good. I know some people were telling me to like carefully balance and make sure that I don't um, that I don't like turn a good blue into a bad purple, but I'd rather just have a shit ton of purples ah, and then just pick and choose based on what I need. <laughs> okay, so I guess first and foremost, let's go to Casper. Uh, let's see, so restore sanity. We could do absorb wrath, but no, we we want absorbs uh, absorb sanity or whatever. And we want to get Crescendo. Okay, so these two are virtually identical, save for the parts that I've jammed into them. I guess let's ch take a look at our purple parts. So, uh, purple heart, extra accuracy, dread and evasion. Yeah. We're going to max her out. Block, attack, and vigor. Dread, armor, and accuracy. There we go. So, Yodeler is pretty much peak Yodel. 